adventure awaits. Watching for snakes. We're Stephen and Andy, caffeinated travelers of the U.S. and beyond. When you last saw us, we were getting pelted with hail at Cotopaxi National Park. Now, we're making our way from the Andes region of Ecuador to our eco lodge in Cuyabana, part of the Amazon rainforest. We are so excited to be here at the Amazon right now. Oh my gosh, we're going to see so much amazing wildlife, get to learn about the indigenous cultures. But first, we had to get here. Yeah. And that was an adventure on its own. Our journey starts at midnight with a 10 hour bus ride east. But that's just the beginning. We are now in the Amazon region of Ecuador. We are along the Cuyabano River, and the Cuyabano region is where we're going to be staying for the next few days. We have taken a bus for 10 and a half hours to this point where we're going to meet our guides from our eco lodge, which is another two or more hours away, but we're going to get there by canoe. So as you can probably tell, we've gone from a cool 50, 60 degrees in Quito. Now we're up to, I think, about 80 degrees here in the Amazon, and it is balmy. But adventure awaits, and we can't wait to see what comes next. Two things we're definitely going to be using a lot of while we're here is sunscreen and bug spray. Watching for snakes. Are you like jacket on? Yep. All right, we got two hours at least to our lodge. This is gonna be awesome. I hope we see pink dolphins. Oh, we're gonna see them. <laughs> Here is the Cuya Beno Reserve, down the river, the indigenous territory, okay? Don't forget, remember always, you can visit my territory. See you as indigenous people. So our guide told us that on this ride we might see the likes of anacondas or boas, yikes, some caiman, exotic birds, monkeys, and Andy's favorite, pink river dolphins. Though the Amazon rainforest is mostly in Brazil, it actually spreads into nine different countries. Ecuador has the smallest portion of it, only 2% of the total rainforest. However, its portion is believed to be the most ecologically diverse. Our guides were amazing at spotting wildlife in the lush greenery. I honestly don't know how they did it. No pink dolphins yet, but we've seen monkeys and some <laughs> Every time I spot something, I'm like, what is it? What is it? It's a leaf. <laughs> Our trip started out with blue skies, but it was inevitable that we'd get rain. <laughs> but at least we got these ponchos and I hooked this up with a little getting it in my mouth. We're going off fine. 
Just like in Code Epoxy, it turns out the weather here changes frequently and on a dime. It's just amazing. We've been cruising along for a couple of hours here. We've seen so many monkeys, amazing birds, and it's just beautiful. I mean, man, we got dumped on with rain for a minute there. That was kind of rough, but it was kind of cool too. And now it's just like a little overcast and beautiful and wow. I mean, it's just gorgeous out here. I've never seen anything like it. The clouds broke again, and we soon arrived at our lodge. In the next couple of weeks, join us as we experience more of the jungle, including a visit to an indigenous village. In a night walk that may have resulted in a stowaway. It's scurrying around our room now somewhere. Tune in next week. We're going to take you on a tour of our amazing Eco Lodge, show you our room and where we're staying, and of course, share our first full day here in the Amazon with y'all. That's right. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. We'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.